Uh, the natural law perspective is uh, the ethics is is the theory that uh, morality is rooted in central truths about who we are as human beings. So the nature, the natural uh, law, and so we we look kind of um, at the world around us, and we uh, are able to perceive uh, different laws uh, like w what we do for gravity and uh, the various other um, uh, interactions that we have uh, within. Uh, the moving bodies of the world and here just the moving bodies tend to bump back if you bump into them. <laughs> so according to natural law ethics, the answer to the question of how we ought to live, that's true morality, is rooted in the fact about the sorts of creatures we are, what God created when he created human beings. So uh, again, still focusing on a Christian framework, so God creating it, and within that he's kind of either infused or uh, uh, made up or uh, uh, put in place uh, various guidelines uh, to uh, guide us on how to live, and uh, those things are rooted into uh, our actual uh, being and makeup. Right. And so she uh, asked the question, how might morality be rooted in facts about the sort of creatures that we are? And she says, and in the first place, morality is made possible by the fact that human beings are creatures capable of recognizing things as good and enjoying uh, freedom of the will regarding, you know, if and how we pursue those goods. So we're able to recognize uh, good and evil. Were that were those kinds of creatures? That's how we were created. And she says, if one takes away these abilities, uh, then it no longer makes sense to say that human beings are obligated to live in a, in particular ways. So part of what uh, is the grounding of uh, natural law uh, ethics is the type of creature that we are, how we were created, and the capabilities that we have. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when uh, our authors from uh, uh, the natural law perspective responded to virtue ethics, uh, even she was uh, talking about how closely resemble uh, uh, they to each other. And so um, th th I think that uh, comes out here in, in her perspective, too. And I'm assuming they probably all wrote their versions um, independently without uh, the um, kind of how we're reading it. So it, uh, probably each of the four um, brought uh, brought theirs in and then were sent uh, the other versions to respond to. Uh, so it, it is interesting to, to, to see that, um, you know, uh, uh, just carried along from her own perspective, um, uh, we see a lot of the um, similarities with virtue ethics here. Well, in the second place, the very content uh, content of the ethics, how we ought to live, again, ought being a, a key word that uh, should perk our ears as philosophers, is largely determined by the facts of who we are, the specific needs, limitations, capabilities, and purposes we have as human beings. And of course, we have to uh, refer to uh, the master, C.S. Lewis, where he makes the point in Mere Christianity, where he states, in reality, moral rules are directions for running the human machines. And I always liken this to uh, the, the human beings are like uh, 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 railroad cars and we're on the railroad tracks. Uh, if, if you're following along the rails, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing because uh, that's how you go in life. And so if you're going to be derailed, yeah, you can go for a little while, but at some point it's going to be a wreck and a, a giant mess. And a lot of people are going to be mad at you. So um, that's uh, what, won't go very far. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> And so uh, we just apply that to the, the, the moral imperatives in life. And so that's what uh, C.S. Lewis uh, is, is uh, saying here in his citation. Well, Lewis calls this set of instructions various things. The law of human nature, the law of nature, the law of the rule of fair play or decent behavior. And of course, coming from a, a, a British person, that means a lot more, um, <laughs> especially back then. But following the natural law tradition of ethics, uh, she'll be calling it the natural law. Just to make it simple. Right. 